A service is simply something that I use but do not own. And so service design is the act of shaping service experiences so that they work for people. Both removing the lumps and bumps so that it's nice and easy to use, but also adding a bit of magic to make it compelling. Digital is having a huge effect on the disruption of services. If we think about education, you no longer have to have bricks and mortar, a building, a school or a university in order to offer educational services. You can offer online courses. Service design evolved from user-centered design, this idea that we really need to make things work for people. So rather than focusing on the artifact, let's make a new bank account, you focus on the outcome. How do we help people save money? The Government Digital Service, or GDS, is a fantastic example of service design because more than anything it's made it simple. Government is phenomenally complicated and therefore navigating government, or sometimes navigating a service such as renewing my car tax, is also complicated. So more than anything, they've made it radically simple and really accessible for everyone. Gov.uk gets 12 million visitors a week and almost everyone has to interact with government at some point, so it's vital that we make that as user-focused and as easy to use as possible. We're also able to save money. Last year, GDS saved £210 million. The Government Digital Service needs to make things work for all citizens, and so it has to think inclusively. It has to understand how those people, perhaps who struggle with words, who struggle with legibility, um, how they can be helped. And so you use fewer words, you use bigger font sizes, and in that way, you actually keep things simple and easy for everyone. Before, you had to register to vote by filling in a paper card that came through the door approximately every two years. Now you can just do it on your phone. It takes a couple of minutes to fill it in and you register to vote. It's a really important part of our democracy that we've made a lot easier. Service design is increasingly important when we think about economic and environmental concerns. We all know that we need to do more with less. We don't need to make so many things. All we need is the access to things to get the outcome that we want. Service design has revolutionized many industries. With music, we notice how it's moved from a physical retail activity to an online retail activity where I download files, but now to a streaming activity where I no longer own the files themselves. Or with transportation, we think about the fiercely competitive airline industry and we see how Virgin Atlantic, despite being, as they say, a small mid-priced airline, has managed really to punch above its weight and create a really desirable experience. Service design is important and is only going to become more important in the future. So we are moving from a world of persuasion to a world of usability. And we're certainly moving to a world where large companies and brands, it's easier to switch between those brands. And so the distinction will less be marketing and brand and it will more be service and ease of use. And so designing services is going to be the thing that businesses focus on to make them compete better.